is Late Edition News at 10 with Ann Gownley. Sports with Eric DiBerardinis. And meteorologist Joe Garbacek. Approximately 76 people will be without a job on March 15th of next year after a business closes its doors in Hazleton, and tonight it's our top story. Good evening, this is WYLN's Late Edition, Greater Hazleton's only local news broadcast from Monday, November 3rd, 2014. I'm Ann Gownley. Weir Minerals Hazelton facility will be closing its doors on March 15, 2015. The company, which produces fabricated and manufactured submersible and surgical slurry pumps for the mineral and mining industries, decided to close in response to the changing demands in mining markets. The facility has been open for nearly a century. As more information becomes available from Weir Minerals North America, WYLN provided that information to you, our viewers. A 76-year-old man was pronounced dead after a motor vehicle accident on Claremont Avenue at Wiener Street Friday, October 31st, around 6 p.m. Police say Raymond Porcia of Rush Township was leaving a gas station parking lot when he attempted to cross over two northbound lanes to head out when a Ford Explorer driven by 35-year-old Don Miller of Lansford collided with his car. Pareka was pronounced dead at the scene and Miller was life lighted to Lehigh Valley Hospital Cedar Crest for unknown injuries. A 16-year-old and a four-week-old infant was in the car with Miller. Neither suffered injuries. The investigation into how the crash occurred is still ongoing. Police say this is the fourth fatal accident since August 8th of this year. A man was robbed and stabbed early Monday morning on Alter Street in Hazleton. Police were called to the area of 2nd and Alter Streets around 5.30 this morning. The victim told officers that he was stabbed in the right arm and robbed by an assailant who fled on foot into an abandoned house in the 500 block of Alter Street. Police went into the home and found 24-year-old Jury Jimenez Carabala hiding in the basement. He was arrested and charged with aggravated assault, robbery, and trespassing. The victim was flown to Lehigh Valley Hospital, Allentown, for treatment. Early Saturday morning, two people were transported to local hospitals to be treated for gunshot wounds. According to police, the incident happened in the area of First and Wyoming Streets just after 1 a.m. on Saturday. The names of the two men shot were not identified. However, police say they were taken to Geisinger Wyoming Ma Medical Center in Plains Township and Lehigh Valley Hospital Cedar Crest in Allentown. Anyone with information on Saturday morning's incident is asked to call Hazleton Police at 570-459-4940. All calls will remain confidential. Flames ripped through a home in Ryan Township Sunday afternoon. Firefighters were called to 50 Long Lane in Ryan Township just after 2 p.m. Firefighters on scene say the home was fully engulfed in flames when they arrived. No injuries were reported, and according to officials, the family was apparently out shopping at the time of the fire. Water was brought in by tanker trucks to fight the fire due to the lack of fire hydrants. Ryan Township, Delano, Monai City, and Rush Township Fire Departments responded to that scene. Several people are displaced after a fire blazed through several row homes in Shenandoah. Just after 7 a.m., firefighters were called to 210 West Lloyd Street in the borough for a report of a kitchen fire, and when they arrived, they found heavy smoke and fire coming from the home. A second alarm was called after the fire spread to adjoining home 212. Firefighters were able to contain the fire to the two homes. However, 208 West Lloyd sustained smoke damage. The, Red, the American Red Cross is helping out at least 14 victims of Sunday's fire. Firefighters from Shenandoah and Ryan Township Emergency Rescue Squad Rehab assisted at the scene. The fire in Shenandoah was ruled accidental caused by a cooking incident in the kitchen. A Shenandoah woman was sentenced to serve six months to two years in state prison for drug crimes. 30-year-old Cassa Brennan was sentenced by Judge Jacqueline Russell on Friday. She was found guilty by a jury on June 4th of 2012 of possession with intent to deliver a controlled substance and possession of drug paraphernalia. 
Brennan violated her probation in October for failing to report to her supervising officer that she was using drugs. Her fiance, 24-year-old Bruce Lee Forker, was shot and killed on March 16th of 2010. The murder was believed to be drug-related. 23-year-old Jamal Olivero is serving 15 to 30 years in state prison after pleading guilty to third-degree murder in connection with Forker's death. A Missouri man was sentenced today for killing a co-worker during a drunken fight in Wilkesbury. 26-year-old Patrick Ramirez will spend two to four years in state prison on a charge of accidents involving death. He was convicted of causing the death of 25-year-old Shane Stewart. The two men were employees of an electrical contractor during the construction of the Mohegan Sun Casino. The men were drinking and arguing when Ramirez struck Stewart in a pickup truck in the McDonald's parking lot on Kidder Street on September 9th of 2013. He was sentenced by Luzerne County Judge Tina Polachek gartley The sentence includes 90 days in jail on a drunken driving conviction. He was acquitted on the charge of homicide by vehicle while driving under the influence. The skateboarder who collided with a car last Wednesday night in Kingston has died, according to police. 18-year-old William Moore of Luzerne passed away at Geisinger, Wyoming Valley Medical Center. Moore was taken by ambulance to the hospital just before 9.30 Wednesday after the crash near Market Street and Maple Avenue. According to investigators, Moore was struck by a white BMW. The driver of the BMW was identified as 20-year-old Stephanie McGillen of Wilkesbury. Police say McGillen was taken to a local hospital for blood tests, but the results are still pending. Luzerne County District Attorney Stephanie Salavantis says there are no charges currently pending and the investigation is ongoing. The Luzerne County District Attorney addressed County Council on budget issues at last week's meeting. Council President Rick Morelli asked DA Stephanie Salavantis if there were any places where they could save or cut. She stated that she cut spending by $52,000 after new outside grant funded expenses are factored out. Employee retirements would be the only remaining savings possibility. Council increased the district attorney's budget by $480,000 for 2014 after Salavantis told council about rising caseloads at last year's meeting. The office employs around 64 people. Personnel cost takes up about 87% of the office expenses. Salavantis believes her staffing is the lowest among third-class counties. Council must come up with $4.5 million in cuts and revenues before the December 15th budget adoption deadline. It's a program that helps give back to women who are battling cancer. The American Cancer Society's Look Good, Feel Better program teaches women beauty techniques while they are in active cancer treatment. WYLN takes a closer look at the Look Good, Feel Better program and what it offers women in our area and across the country. Cancer takes a toll on millions of Americans each and every year, but for women, it's harder to cope with the hair loss and skin changes. Jennifer Washney, Mission Delivery Specialist with the American Cancer Society, spoke with us today about a program offered by the American Cancer Society that helps women in active treatment. It's called the Look Good, Feel Better program, and Washney says it's one of the ACS's signature programs and is offered locally here in Hazleton. We offer it um, across the different counties and different areas, and it is a free program, and patients receive, female patients receive about $250 worth of free makeup, and they learn about skin care and wig care and, and things like that. It's a really nice program led by volunteer cosmetologists and estheticians. Washney says the program is not just about makeup. It is a support group for women who are going through a cancer diagnosis. And so the makeup's out and they learn about wig care and, and, and skin care and things like that, but it's also a resource so that they can talk to one another and learn and share their experiences. So it is more than makeup, but when they leave, they look beautiful. Debbie Shandrick is a licensed esthetician and owner of Robert Stevens Face and Body. For the past five years, Shandrick has been a volunteer with the Look Good, Feel Better program, offering tips and advice to women who are currently battling cancer. It's just a wonderful program. The camaraderie with the, the women that come here for the program is just incredible. We learn just as much from them as they learn from us. Shandrick explains what each woman will learn when she attends one of the sessions. 
You know, first off, we, we teach them skin care, um, which is very important because when you have a diagnosis of cancer, your skin changes almost immediately. Um, you know, cancer really will dry out the skin, and in some cases, different types of radiation treatment will actually burn the skin. So we teach them how to take care of their skin. And, um, you know, through that diagnosis, they, you know, things change. So we teach them different techniques on how to apply makeup appropriately so that um, it's going to enhance, say, their eyes and, you know, their eyebrows and, um, it, you know, it's the old adage, you look good, you feel better. Look Good Feel Better program sessions are offered quarterly on Mondays throughout the year. To find a session near you, you can call 1-800-227-2345. It's very rewarding. Um, we have uh, patients who sometimes will come back to another session. They're entitled to one makeup kit, but sometimes they'll come and they'll bring their makeup and go to another session. So it's a really nice program and, and uh, they really enjoy it. The Look Good Feel Better program is not the only program offered through the American Cancer Society. Washney says there are several other programs the ACS has to offer. We also have free wig banks for women going through treatment. We have This Look Good, Feel Better. We have Road to Recovery, which is a ride where we have volunteers who take patients to and from their treatment. We have Reach to Recovery, which is a support group for women going through breast, ca breast cancer treatment. And we also have information and services. If you call the 1-800 number, 1-800-227-2345, you can learn about other services provided by the Cancer Society, but also we also have thousands of resources in our database to help someone who is facing a cancer diagnosis. For more information on the Look Good, Feel Better program, you can log on to cancer.org or call them at 1-800-227-2345. Brittany Maynard, a terminally ill Oregon woman, ended her life on Saturday in accordance with the state's Death with Dignity statute. State Senator Dalen Leach first introduced a Death with Dignity bill in 2007. Senate Bill 1032 is based on Oregon statute, which was enacted in 1997 and upheld by the United States Supreme Court. It allows terminally ill people to end their own life by taking lethal doses of medication prescribed by a doctor. Leach believes that people should have the freedom to consider this option. Death with with dignity also protects family members of the terminally ill who can be pres prosecuted for representing the wishes of their loved ones. Maynard was just 29 years old. Tomorrow is election day and it is important for everyone to get out and vote to choose the leaders of our nation and our state. Tonight our Gary Perna has a preview. The 2014 general election is upon us. This year Pennsylvania will decide who will be the next governor for the next four years. Incumbent Republican Governor Tom Corbett and Democratic challenger Tom Wolf have been in a heated race for the past few months. Corbett said if re-elected, he will continue to put PA residents back to work and to cut the unemployment rates and cut government spending. Wolf said if he is elected, he will bring his knowledge of business to Harrisburg. Wolf owns and operates a business in York, Pennsylvania. According to Wolf, he knows how to put Pennsylvania workers back to work. If Corbett loses this election, he will be the first Pennsylvania governor to fail to win re-election since the state permitted two terms back in 1968. Moving to the House of Representatives in the 11th District, incumbent Lou Barletta will face off against attorney Andy Ostrowski. Barletta is seeking his third term in Congress. He has said he will continue to work on strengthening the immigration laws, along with creating more jobs and help strengthen the economy here at home. Ostrowski said he will work hard for the people of the 11th District. Ostrowski claims that Washington is not working for the people, and he wants to change that. Now to the 17th Congressional District. Democrat Matt Cartwright is seeking his second term. He is facing off with Schuylkill County Coroner Dr. Dave Moylan. Cartwright, in his first term, fought for veterans' health care, along with taking a lead role in his freshman class with Congress. Cartwright helped to support two dozen bipartisan bills that passed both the House and the Senate. Dr. Dave Moylan said he will go to Washington to help reform the Health Care Act and fight to abolish the Internal Revenue Services. Moylan said he is proudly pro-life and stands for the Second Amendment. Tune in Tuesday night here on WYLN where Don Pachance and Tiffany Cloud will host Election 2014 Beyond the Numbers starting at 8 p.m.
They will have live guests along with live reports from myself and Ann Gownley in the field. Remember, polls open at 7 a.m., so get out and vote. Gary Parna, WYLN's Late Edition. And in sad news today, State Representative Eddie Depashinsky's wife passed away over the weekend just days before the election. Mildred, or Millie Pashinsky, passed away on Sunday. Representative Pashinsky is seeking his fifth term in office, representing the 121st District of Pennsylvania. Representative Pashinsky's challenger, Betsy Summer, offered her condolences to the family and friends of Mildred. The Pashinskys were married for 46 years and have four children and seven grandchildren. Mildred was just 66 seven years old. The Schuylkill County Office of Solid Waste and Resource Management will be holding a hazardous waste collection from 8 a.m. until 2 p.m. on Saturday, November 15th. The event will be at the Schuylkill Mall in Frackville. A list of acceptable and unacceptable items are up on your screen now. Lids must be tightened on all containers. Do not mix the materials or use plastic bags. If the material is not in the original container, it must be labeled. And that is a look at tonight's top stories. Time now for a first look at our forecast with Chief Meteorologist Joe Garbacic, who's outside in the Bedrock Gardens Weather Center. Joe seems like today may have been the last day to see any type of warmer weather. What can those headed to the work or to the bus stop tomorrow morning expect weather-wise? Well, I tell you what, today wasn't too bad of a day weather-wise across our area with temperatures compared to what we saw, especially Sunday and some of those snow flurries that were out there. Well, tomorrow, still looking like a pretty nice day temperature-wise, just perfect for election day. Now, there was a couple of uh, sprinkles and a few scattered showers across parts of our area today. Not a whole lot going on. And like I said, heading into election day tomorrow, it is looking very nice across all of our viewing area. Now that we are approaching the winter season, make sure you check out the covered wagon for all of your upcoming winter needs. They are located in Cybertsville. Seven day forecast coming up after the break. This is Washington, DC, and I'm Matt Cartwright, your Congressman. This place has traffic, crowds, noise, arguing. But here at home, we know what's really important. We need to take care of our veterans, create jobs, and close the Halliburton loophole. I serve you down here, but my values come from right here at home. I thought we were going out tonight, Matt. I'm Matt Cartwright, and I approve this ad. We build tires, but not tires like anybody else. We build Cooper tires for people, not just cars. People who are chauffeurs and shuttle pilots, heavy haulers and heavy hitters. More than what your Cooper tires can do, it's about what you can do with your Cooper tires. Life's a road trip. Come on, let's go. Mom always wanted to choose the best for us. She wanted us to be safe and happy, even when she wasn't around. When the time came for us to make the best choice for her, we could have picked a place closer to us. But this isn't about our convenience. It's about the kind of care mom is going to receive when we aren't around. It's about closing my eyes at night and knowing she is happy and safe. We wanted the best for mom, so we chose Heritage Hill. Tom Wolf just may be Barack Obama's biggest fan. Like Obama, Wolf's a liberal. Like Obama, Wolf has never met a tax increase he didn't like. Wolf's a huge financial donor to Obama, and now Obama's coming to campaign for Wolf because he knows Wolf will support his radical agenda. If we truly want to finish what we started, then we need to elect Tom Wolf as governor of Pennsylvania. Voting for Tom Wolf would be like voting to make Obama Pennsylvania's governor. Are you having a party? Choose Catering by Whitetail for your next event. They offer on-site and off-site catering for all occasions. Barbecues, picnics, corporate functions, reunions, friendly get-togethers, graduation parties, any event you're hosting. Chef Tom will prepare the best for your guests. Call Chef Tom at 570-384-2314. Carryout catering is also available. Choose Catering by Whitetail for your next event. 
WYLN Weather is sponsored by Coordinated Health. Coordinated Health, we make you better together. I'm good, I'm good. Athletes try talking themselves out of being hurt. <laughs> I'm good, I'm good. Working past the pain because they want to keep on playing. Okay. I'm good. Coordinated Health understands. As the number one sports medicine team in the region, we get these champions back in the game with pro-level care. Yeah, I'm good. Because we make you better together. Overall, not a bad day across northeastern and central Pennsylvania temperature-wise compared to what we saw yesterday when we just couldn't get out of the 30s. We saw some snow flurries around, and it was not the best of days to be outdoors. Today, though, a completely different picture, and tomorrow for Election Day, it is shaping up to be a very nice-looking day, a repeat of what we saw today. I think there's a good shot that we're all going to get into the 50s enjoy these temperatures while they last because as I show you the seven day forecast things are going to start to chill down once again and I'll let you know exactly when those chillier temperatures will start to arrive but picture perfect weather for elections tomorrow no reason why you cannot get out and exercise your right to vote Nothing to show you live 35 Skycast Doppler from Wilkesbury through Berwick, Scranton, Williamsport and Lewisburg all points at this time remaining dry our live Lehigh Tire conditions outside our television station in Hazleton. We're at 50 degrees to be exact. And notice those winds for the most part coming in under 5 miles per hour. Our coordinated health, Almanac page 4 today. Notice temperature-wise today, got up into the 50s. We got up to 53, and that again is fairly close to the average high of 55. Look how chilly we got this morning. We got down to 29 degrees, compared to the average low of 36. The records still stand, 638, 457, sunrise and sunset for the daytime hours of tomorrow. Temperature-wise across our area right now, 52 in New Angola, 46 in Berwick, 44 in Shenandoah, 46 in Bloomsburg, and 46 degrees in Danville. Satellites and radar fairly quiet here across the northeast and as we head into tomorrow it's going to be another quiet day. This system out toward the west see the leading edge of some rain. That system when well, we're going to see some rain isn't going to get here until about the middle part of the week. We'll hold off probably until Thursday so until then I think we're going to stay on the dry side of things. So we'll stay dry as we head into tomorrow for our uh, election day. No uh, uh, big problems uh, to be uh, concerned with, I think we'll be in uh, great shape across all of our viewing area. And then as we go into the middle part of the week, by Thursday, you can see some of that rain from the west will start to make its way toward the east eventually for our Thursday. But until then, hey, it's looking pretty good. A little chilly out there tonight. Tomorrow, 50. Some areas will be near 60, possibly in the lower 60s. Overall, a very nice looking day to be outdoors. And notice on Wednesday, temperatures in the 50s already by the noontime hour. So in some nice weather for Election Day, for Tuesday, and then by Thursday, looks like we could be looking at the chance of some rain in our forecast. And speaking of the forecast, here's a look at the seven-day extended forecast. And well, you know what? It's looking pretty good the next couple of days temperature-wise. Some showers come into play as we go into our Thursday. And then it's going to bring in some chillier air for the weekend. Temperatures only in the 40s for daytime highs. We want to thank Simply Home Brew for sponsoring our evening Pennsylvania lottery numbers. Now's the time to start making your holiday wines. You can even do it at their location. It's great for holiday gifts. Make sure you give them a call. The daily 288, the big 434. Four, three. The Quinto number is looking like this, 26162, and a cash five, 26, 29, 35, 38, and 39. More late edition, including sports with Eric DiBerardinas, coming up after the break.
Happy holidays, Rita. Thanks, Joe. What a great gift. Pennsylvania lottery tickets make great gifts, like the new $1 million peppermint payout. Happy holidays. And best wishes from the lottery. All Care Home Care. The health care that you need in the comfort and privacy of your own home. At All Care Home Care, our caring and compassionate staff of skilled nurses, occupational speech, physical therapists, dietitian, social worker, and home health aides will give you the professional care you need. Call 459-3002. With All Care Home Care, you will feel so much better and be able to do so much more. Remember, it's still your choice for your care. Call us and we'll be there flipping your pillow. If you feel like you're on fire, you need Chillo, the new pillow pack that transforms your pillow into a Chillo. Look, regular pillows get hot quickly, but Chillo brings soothing cooling to your head. The secret is soothe soft technology, water-cooled memory foam. He likes the room hot, she likes the room cold. Chillo cradles you in comfort, so you'll feel like you're in a cool oasis. I've been experiencing hot flashes and night sweats, but with Chillo, it's instant cool, instant relief, and it's Wonderful. Chillo is the perfect cool compress for headaches, back aches, or foot pain. Ultra Sway Chillo lets you chill out in total relaxation. Now order the Chillo for just $12.99. Call now and get a second Chillo as a bonus. Just pay separate processing and handling. You get two Chillos for just $12.99 plus processing and handling. So call now. To order, call 1 800 470 0174. That's 1 800 470 0174. Or visit Chillo.com. Watch Wellness Through Physical Therapy with Ting O of Hazleton Physical Therapy and let Ting and his talented team guide you on your journey to wellness. Only on WILN. The flood nearly destroyed my business. Drugs and violence threatened our community. Our schools just didn't have the money. I called John Udichak. John Udichak was there. John listened. He brought the Mobile Street Crime Unit here. He got the loan that saved my company and 30 jobs. Got our schools what we needed. Politicians aren't getting things done. But John Udichak isn't one of them. He's one of us. That's John Udichak. Hazelton native Joe Madden is officially the newest manager of the Chicago Cubs. Today, during his 37-minute introductory press conference, Madden was his usual philosophical self and spoke about his excitement for the new venture while even bringing up his hometown a few times. I needed to know uh, that we were philosophically aligned. It had nothing to do with anything other than that. Um, I've been doing this for a bit, and I know I'm a little bit different at times, and so for me it's really important to have that kind of support uh, from, the, from the ownership and from the front office personnel to uh, understand me in a sense. Really um, both patient and confident. Um, I think I get that from my dad. So regarding like how long this may take, I'm not sure, but uh, what I saw on the field works. What I saw on, on that field this year, I know works. For me, I'm going to be talking playoffs next year, okay? I'm going to tell you that right now because I can't go to spring training and say any other thing. I'm just incapable of doing that. Why would you even report? Uh, it's all about setting your, your standards, your, your goals high because the problem if you don't set them high enough is that you might actually hit your, your, your mark, and that's not a good thing. Don't ever permit the pressure to exceed the pleasure. Don't ever permit the pressure to exceed the pleasure. That's on the top of my lineup card every night. 60's a new 40. <laughs> um, you know, I have my wife sitting here right now, and uh, my grandkids are in Arizona. My mom's in Pennsylvania. And I had uh, this uh, option to exercise a right in the contract. That's all I did. I exercised my right within that contract. And I'll tell you another thing. I didn't even know it was in there. I didn't even know I had that opt-out. Just being honest. I'm driving my RV. I went from um, Tampa to Hazleton, my hometown, for a golf tournament for our, our um, Hazleton Community Center back in my hometown. And I'm driving back, and Andrew tells me he's going. And then I get another phone call telling me I got an opt-out clause. I had no idea I had it. 
Bartender here, barkeep, anywhere? I got, I got the drinks right now. That's a shot and a beer. That's the Hazleton way, shot and a beer. Madden in a typical giving mood. During his time in Tampa Bay, Madden led the race to the first four postseason appearances in the organization's history. The Cubs haven't won a World Series in 107 years, and the franchise hasn't appeared in the playoffs since 2003. Final week of the regular season in high school football, we have a recap of the Wyoming Valley Conference and Anthracite League, starting with Crestwood and Pottsville. Crestwood undefeated, Pottsville, Pottsville without a victory. First quarter, the Comets' Jay Popson finds Connor Shalosky. Shalosky turns and locates the end zone, three catches and 86 yards for the wideout. Popson with his highest passing output of the season, 192 yards. Here, he hooks up with Joey Petro, down the side line Petro finally brought down at the three yard line but Crestwood punches it in and goes on to win 50 to 20. W Island's game of the week Hazleton at Berwick and this one was all Bulldogs. Cougars, Cougars down 7-0 and can't handle the snap on the punt. Berwick recovers and then scores on the ensuing possession. In the second quarter it's the dangerous combo of Dallas Arner and Andrew Force. Four snatches, 140 receiving yards through the air, almost all of Arner's 176, including this touchdown. Berwick 56 to 6 winners. Hazleton finishes the 2014 campaign 1 and 9. Crestwood and Berwick in playoff action this Friday. Other scores from Friday across the area. Williamsport keeps it close but falls to Wyoming Valley West and finishes 2 and 8. The Spartans move on to the playoffs next week. Dallas trailed by two scores at halftime but outscores Lake Lehman 13-0 in the second half for the victory and a playoff berth. Jeff Skursky with 238 yards and four touchdowns to lead Wyoming area over Pittston. Both the Warriors and the Patriots end the season 3-7. and seven. Coughlin tops Tunkanic but finishes behind in district playoff points, so the Crusaders will compete in the Eastern Conference playoffs. The Tigers finish the season without a win. In the Anthracite League, North Schuylkill completes an undefeated regular season and is the top seed in the District 11 Class 2A playoffs. Panther Valley finishes 1-9. Mahanoy advances to the districts with a win over Shenandoah Valley. Blue Devils 0-10 on the year. Marion Catholic picks up their fourth straight win, while Tamaqua loses their third straight, ending 5-5. Five and five. Lee Heighton cruises by Jim Thorpe and secures a District 11 Class 3A berth. The Olympians miss out, dropping their final three games. Blue Mountain qualifies for the Eastern Conference playoffs, handling Scoople Haven, and Minersville ends the season on a strong note, taking down Nativity for their second straight win. More on district playoff matchups later in sports, plus plays of the week. But next, and we'll be back with a recap of today's news. Lewith and Freeman Real Estate Drum Sales Team is proud to be the top selling office in the greater Hazleton area and part of the leading firm in Luzerne County. As members of the leading real estate companies of the world, the buyers and sellers can count on exceptional service and national strength. Known for their cutting edge marketing, user friendly website, and customer oriented tools such as LF Home Finder, Lewith and Freeman brings buyers and sellers together. Call today, the Lewith and Freeman Drum Sales Professionals are committed to be your real estate source. This is a home. This is your neighbor's home. This is another home furnished by Grand Central. All these rooms in all these homes makes everybody so happy. It's so easy to do. It's your room made your way. It's local. It's Grand Central. This week at Grand Central, the price on the floor is the price to your door and not one cent more. No tax, no delivery, no kidding. It's now floor to door prices. Everybody shops Grand Central, making your house a home. Ford, Route 309 in Hazleton and on Route 11 in Exeter.
I'm Bill Washko. I handle sales at WYLN, and I am at the American Cancer Society Telethon. I do telethons, helping hands, because I like to help the community, the local people, and the dollars that help local people, young and old. Weir Minerals Hazelton facility will be closing its doors on March 15, 2015, leaving 76 people without a job. The company, which produces fabricated and manufactured submersible and surgical slurry pumps for the mineral and mining industries, decided to close in response to the changing demands in mining markets. The facility has been open for nearly a century. As more information becomes available from Weir Minerals North America, WYLN will provide that information to you our viewers. A 76-year-old man was pronounced dead after a motor vehicle accident on Claremont Avenue Friday, October 31st, around 6 p.m. Police say Raymond Porcia of Rush Township was leaving a gas station parking lot when he attempted to cross over two northbound lanes to head out when a Ford Explorer driven by 35-year-old Don Miller of Lansford collided with his car. He, Pareka was pronounced dead at the scene and Miller was life lighted to Lehigh Valley Hospital Cedarcrest for unknown injuries. A 16-year-old and a four-week-old infant were in the car with Miller. Neither suffered injuries. The investigation as to how the crash occurred is ongoing. Police say this is the fourth fatal accident since August 8th of this year. A man was robbed and stabbed early Monday morning on Alter Street in Hazleton. Police were called to the area of 2nd and Alter Streets around 5.30 this morning. The victim told officers that he was stabbed in the right arm and robbed by an assailant who fled on foot into an abandoned house in the 500 block of Alter Street. Police went into the home and found 24-year-old Jerry Jimenez Caraballa hiding in the basement. He was arrested and charged with aggravated assault, robbery, and trespassing. The victim was flown to Lehigh Valley Hospital Allentown for treatment. Early Saturday morning, two people were transported to local hospitals for gunshot wounds. According to police, the incident happened in the area of First and Wyoming Streets just after 1 a.m. on Saturday. The names of the two men were not given. However, police say they were taken to Geisinger Wyoming Valley Medical Center in Plains Township and Lehigh Valley Hospital Cedarcrest in Allentown. Anyone with information on Saturday morning's incident is asked to call Hazleton Police at 570-459-4940. All calls will remain confidential. Flames ripped through a home in Ryan Township Sunday afternoon. Firefighters were called to 50 Long Lane in Ryan Township just after 2 p.m. Firefighters on scene say the home was fully engulfed in flames when they arrived. No injuries were reported, and according to officials, the family was apparently out shopping at the time of the fire. Water was brought in by tanker trucks to fight the fire due to the lack of fire hydrants. Ryan Township, Delano, Monoy City, and Rush Township Fire Departments responded to the scene. Several people are displaced after a fire blazed through several row homes in Shenandoah. Just after 7 a.m., firefighters were called to 210 West Lloyd Street in the borough of for a report of a kitchen fire. And when they arrived, they found heavy smoke and fire coming from the home. A second alarm was called after the fire spread to adjoining home 212. Firefighters were able to contain the fire to the two homes. However, 208 West Lloyd sustained smoke damage. The American Red Cross is helping out the at least four 14 victims of Sunday's fire. Firefighters from Shenandoah and Ryan Township Emergency Rescue Squad Rehab assisted at the scene. The fire in Shenandoah was ruled accidental caused by a cooking incident in the kitchen. A Shenandoah woman was sentenced to serve six months to two years in state prison for drug crimes. 30-year-old Cassa Brennan was sentenced by Judge Jacqueline Russell on Friday. She was found guilty by a jury on June 4th of 2012 of possession with intent to deliver a controlled substance and possession of drug paraphernalia. Brennan violated her probation in October for failing to report to her supervising officer that she was using drugs. Her fiancé, 24-year-old Bruce Lee Forker, was shot and killed on March 16th of 2010. The murder was believed to be drug related. 23 year old Jamar Olivar is serving 15 to 30 years in state prison after pleading guilty to third degree murder in connection with Forker's death. Tomorrow is election day and it is important for everyone to get out and vote and choose the leaders of our nation and our state. Tonight our Gary Perna has a preview. 
The 2014 general election is upon us. This year, Pennsylvania will decide who will be the next governor for the next four years. Incumbent Republican Governor Tom Corbett and Democratic challenger Tom Wolf have been in a heated race for the past few months. Corbett said if re-elected, he will continue to put PA residents back to work and to cut the unemployment rates and cut government spending. Wolf said if he is elected, he will bring his knowledge of business to Harrisburg. Wolf owns and operates a business in York, Pennsylvania. According to Wolf, he knows how to put Pennsylvania workers back to work. If Corbett loses this election, he will be the first Pennsylvania governor to fail to win re-election since the state permitted two terms back in 1968. Moving to the House of Representatives in the 11th District, incumbent Lou Barletta will face off against attorney Andy Ostrowski. Barletta is seeking his third term in Congress. He has said he will continue to work on strengthening the immigration laws, along with creating more jobs and help strengthen the economy here at home. Ostrowski said he will work hard for the people of the 11th District. Ostrowski claims that Washington is not working for the people, and he wants to change that. Now to the 17th Congressional District. Democrat Matt Cartwright is seeking his second term. He is facing off with Schuylkill County Coroner Dr. Dave Moylan. Cartwright in his first term fought for veterans health care, along with taking a lead role in his freshman class with Congress. Cartwright helped to support two dozen bipartisan bills that passed both the House and the Senate. Dr. Dave Moylan said he will go to Washington to help reform the Health Care Act and fight to abolish the Internal Revenue Services. Moylan said he is proudly pro-life and stands for the Second Amendment. Tune in Tuesday night here on WYLN where Don Pachance and Tiffany Cloud will host Election 2014 Beyond the Numbers starting at 8 p.m. They will have live guests along with live reports from myself and Ann Gownley in the field. Remember, polls open at 7 a.m., so get out and vote. Gary Perna, WYLN's Late Edition. It's a program that helps give back to women who are battling cancer. The American Cancer Society's Look Good, Feel Better program teaches women beauty techniques while they are active in cancer treatment. Today, WYLN takes a look at that program and what it offers women of our area and across the country. Cancer takes a toll on millions of Americans each and every year, but for women, it's harder to cope with the hair loss and skin changes. Jennifer Washney, Mission Delivery Specialist with the American Cancer Society, spoke with us today about a program offered by the American Cancer Society that helps women in active treatment. It's called the Look Good, Feel Better program, and Washney says it's one of the ACS's signature programs and is offered locally here in Hazleton. We offer it um, across the different counties and different areas, and it is a free program, and patients receive, female patients receive about $250 worth of free makeup, and they learn about skin care and wig care and, and things like that. It's a really nice program led by volunteer cosmetologists and estheticians. Washney says the program is not just about makeup. It is uh, a support group for women who are going through a cancer diagnosis. And so the makeup's out and they learn about wig care and, and, and skin care and things like that, but it's also a resource so that they can talk to one another and learn and share their experiences. So it is more than makeup, but when they leave, they look beautiful. Debbie Shandrick is a licensed esthetician and owner of Robert Stevens Face and Body. For the past five years, Shandrick has been a volunteer with the Look Good, Feel Better program, offering tips and advice to women who are currently battling cancer. It's just a wonderful program. The camaraderie with the, the women that come here for the program is just incredible. We learn just as much from them as they learn from us. Shantrick explains what each woman will learn when she attends one of the sessions. You know, first off, we, we teach them skin care, um, which is very important because when you have a diagnosis of cancer, your skin changes almost immediately. Um, you know, cancer really will dry out the skin, and in some cases, different types of radiation treatment will actually burn the skin. So we teach them how to take care of their skin. And, um, you know, through that diagnosis, they, you know, things change. So we teach them different techniques on how to apply makeup appropriately so that um, it's going to enhance, say, their eyes and, you know, their eyebrows and, um, it, you know, it's the old adage, you look good, you feel better. Look Good, Feel Better program sessions are offered quarterly on Mondays throughout the year. To find a session near you, you can call 
227-2345. It's very rewarding. Uh, we have uh, patients who sometimes will come back to another session. They're entitled to one makeup kit, but sometimes they'll come and they'll bring their makeup and go to another session. So it's a really nice program and, and uh, they really enjoy it. The Look Good, Feel Better program is not the only program offered through the American Cancer Society. Washney says there are several other programs the ACS has to offer. We also have free wig banks for women going through treatment. We have This Look Good, Feel Better. We have Road to Recovery, which is a ride where we have volunteers who take patients to and from their treatment. We have Reached Recovery, which is a support group for women going through breast, ca breast cancer treatment. And we also have information and services. If you call the 1-800 number, 1-800-227-2345, you can learn about other services provided by the Cancer Society, but also we also have thousands of resources in our database to help someone who is facing a cancer diagnosis. For more information on the Look Good, Feel Better program, you can log on to cancer.org or call them at 1-800-227-2345. And that is a look at tonight's top stories. Coming up next, Eric DiBerardinas is back with more sports here on Late Edition, including the plays of the week and who's headed to the district football playoffs. But first, let's head back outside to the Bedrock Gardens Weather Center with Chief Meteorologist Joe Garbacek. Joe? Hey, it's looking pretty good out there through tonight and for Election Day heading into tomorrow. You won't find a speck of rain or drop or drizzle or anything falling from the sky, except maybe a few leaves. Throughout the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, it is uh, fairly quiet, and that's the good news as we head into tomorrow. Now, don't forget, we are getting closer and closer officially to the start of winter. Make sure you check out the covered wagon for all of your upcoming winter needs. Seven day forecast coming up in just a few. Welcome to Fairway Chevrolet, Pennsylvania's number one truck dealer. From the longest lasting, most dependable full size pickup, the tough all new Silverado to the rugged 3500 Chevy dump truck, Fairway has your truck. Purchase any new Silverado, Tahoe, or Suburban from Fairway Chevrolet during the month of October and receive a $400 grocery gift card from our friends at Gould's SureSave in Cunningham. All you want to do is wrap up uh. a sandwich or leftovers, uh. but dealing with plastic wrap and foil uh. leaves you in a tangled uh. mess. Hi, Mark Hill here for Raptastic, the super smart dispenser that lets you pull, press, and wrap just like that. Simply load in your wrap and you're ready to roll. Plastic wrap, foil wrap, wax paper, and more. Raptastic cuts perfectly every time, so there's no waste. Raptastic has a safer hidden stainless steel cutter that cuts only the wrap and only when you need it to. Ready to change rolls? It's spring loaded, so it's easy out and easy in. Raptastic is dishwasher safe and fits right in the drawer. Put Raptastic to work in your home today for just $10.99. Call right now and we'll send you a second Raptastic as a bonus. Just pay separate processing and handling. As a special gift, I'm going to fill your Raptastics with a roll of foil and a roll of plastic absolutely free. You get two Raptastics, two rolls of wrap, a huge value for just $10.99. Here's how to order. Sometimes things happen, and when they do, visit Harry's You Pull It. With the largest selection of parts and the best pricing, Harry's is the choice for your auto project. Whether it's a hobby or necessity, pull the parts you need for your next auto project at Harry's You Pull It. When you need to work on your car, visit Harry's You Pull It. With locations in Pennsburg, Allentown, and Hazleton. Online at wegotused.com. Compassionate, experienced health and hospice care, delivered right in your home. That's what Malath Valley Health System's known for throughout Columbia, Luzerne, and surrounding counties. It's your choice, and your loved ones deserve the very best. Tell your doctor you want Malath Health, and experience why we've become the trusted choice of more and more families. Visit MalathHealth.com today for more information. WYLNCA 35's children's programming is designed with the specific purpose of serving the educational and informational needs of children. In compliance with FCC guidelines, a copy of the children's programming report is on file for public inspection at WYLN. 
1057 East 10th Street, Hazleton, PA, during normal business hours, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., Monday through Friday. A milestone-centric edition of Plays of the Week, and every week we can count on spectacular highlights out of Mountaintop, and that is where we start. First up, a simple three-yard touchdown. Crestwood's Frank Eigleberger goes untouched, but with the run, he eclipses 4,000 career rushing yards, earning its spot as a Play of the Week. Eigleberger gets a handshake, a hug, and the ball from his coach, Greg Myers, for a terrific accomplishment. Eigleberger, just three catches all year, but how about the extension on this one. The senior lays out and makes the diving catch from Jay Popson. Speaking of Popson, last play before the half, Popson drops back, avoids the pressure, finds daylight up the middle, jukes the defender out of his cleats. Another cutback leaves two more defenders on the ground and finally avoids yet another tackle before jogging into the end zone. He gives a little subtle fist pump on the way to a 50 to 20 Comets win. Hazleton blown out by Berwick, but their lone score was a pretty one. Zach Zukoski has a bit of trouble with the toss, but secures it, breaks free from the Bulldogs, finds the near sideline, and he will not be caught. The rush puts Zukoski over 1,000 yards for the second straight year. Another accolade coming up for Penn State's kicker Sam Ficken. Nittany Lions lose to Maryland, but Ficken does his part. Here he hits a 48-yarder, one of his four field goal attempts on the day, three coming over 45 yards, earning him Big Ten Specialist of the Week honors. The regular season is over, but that means playoff high school football is just a few days away. In the District 4, 2, 11, Class 4A sub-regional, Wyoming Valley West will travel to Delaware Valley. Other notable matchups, we had last year Berwick who topped Crestwood in the first round of the district playoffs, but the Comets got their revenge in week one this season. The two have the potential to have a rematch in the Class 3A final if they can advance out of the semis this Friday. North Schuylkill, a perfect 10-0, hosting Palmerton. The Spartans scoring 42 points per game while allowing just 10. On the other side of the bracket, Northwestern Lehigh at home against Palisades. Mahanoy finishes just 5-5, five and five, but qualified and will face the 8-2 Pius X Royals out of the All-American Conference. That game Saturday at Nazareth. Two-seed Marion Catholic hosts 6-4 and four Williams Valley. The Colts seeking their fifth straight win in a trip to the Class A District Final. Also, Lee Heighton sneaks in as a number four seed in District 11, Class 3A, and will play the top-ranked Bethlehem Catholic. And in the 3A Eastern Conference playoffs, the Anthracite League's Blue Mountain Eagles will host the Wyoming Valley Conference's Coughlin Crusaders. Elsewhere, New York Giants on Monday Night Football right now, but before we get to that score, other NFL news. Philadelphia Eagles quarterback Nick Foles was forced to exit Sunday's win over the Texans. And now reports say that Foles suffered a cracked collarbone and is expected to miss six to eight weeks. But it won't require surgery. Mark Sanchez, who came in in replacement yesterday, will continue to fill in for the injured QB. Giants, Colts, plus NBA results in tonight's scoreboards. A reminder, Joe Garbacek is next with the upcoming forecast. Stay tuned. More late edition is headed your way. Tri-County Business Machines has been serving the Hazleton area with office supplies and furniture for over 35 years. We are your local Kia Sarah dealer for all your digital Kia Sarah copiers, printers, and faxes. For exceptional reliability, sales, and service, the call to make is to Tri-County Business Machines. Tri-County Business Machines, keeping your office up to speed. Tri-County Business Machines, located at 117 East Broad Street, Hazleton. Phone 459-0754 or visit us on the web at tricountybm.com. S.J. Kowalski is your Mitsubishi Diamond Contractor. They can install a Mitsubishi Electric, Mr. Slim Ductless Heating and Cooling System. Mr. Slim Systems are designed to make any living space in your home inviting. You can have a different temperature control for every room in your home. The money-saving technology can save you 25 to 50 percent on your heating bill. For Mitsubishi, Renai, and trained comfort specialists, call S.J. Kowalski at 570-455-2600. During these changing times, is your insurance program up to date? 
I'm local Allstate agent Gary McNeilis. I invite you to come into our office or give us a call. We'll help you be sure that you have the proper coverage to take care of all your family's needs at a price you can afford. Now more than ever, you need to be in good hands to protect everything that's important to you. Our team of insurance professionals and I will be honored to serve you. Are you in good hands? Introducing Ankle Genie, the new zip-up compression sleeve that reduces foot fatigue while energizing foot and ankle. It's a struggle to wear traditional medical compression socks, but Ankle Genie has a built-in zipper, so it slips on and off easily and adjusts to your size. Durable anti-fatigue neoprene soothes, massages, and energizes 24-7. It also provides the compression, and the compression is an essential part to reduce the inflammation, which will allow healing to happen in the foot. Wear Ankle Genie in sneakers, boots, Boots, socks, or slippers. Get relief from ankle swells from fluid retention or poor circulation. Expensive compression sleeves don't come with a zipper. Call now and get the Ankle Genie for just $12.99. Order now and you can double the offer. That's two Ankle Genies for $12.99. Call or click now. Call 1-800-520-6089 and get the Ankle Genie special offer or visit anklegenie.com. But hurry, quantities are limited, so call now. 1-800-520-6089. I'm Liz Tolan, Director of Sales and Marketing for WYLN 35. In 2013, WYLN supported the groups you see on your screen by offering either in-kind advertising or volunteer services. At WYLN, serving our community is an important part of what we do. Our name says it all. We're your local network. In 2014, we'll be here as we've been since day one to promote and support our local community. From all of us at WYLN 35, thank you for making us your local network. Definitely no reason not to go out and vote tomorrow because it's going to be dry and temperature-wise looking very nice. We'll be looking at temperatures in the 50s. Some areas could be looking at temperatures in the lower 60s, so pretty nice uh, for November elections. As we know in the past, anything can happen throughout the month of November, but this time around, it is going to be very, very nice. Our live Lehigh Tire conditions outside our station in Hazleton. We're now at 50 degrees. We're going to drop a little bit more as we head through the overnight hours. Notice we have been dry since the midnight hour. And again, winds about 5 or so miles per hour, occasionally getting them close to about 10. But overall, not as excessive as what we happened to see this past weekend when we were dealing with winds 30, 40, 50 or so miles per hour, really whipping around a number of things outdoors. Here's a look at some of the uh, national temperatures. You can clearly see where a lot of the uh, colder air now is settled from Bismarck through Great Falls and Denver, Colorado. We're going to be on a mild side of things over the next few days, and then by this upcoming weekend, we're really going to start to cool things down once again across our area. 50 degrees in Mount Pocono, 55 Wilkes-Barre East Grant International Airport, 50 degrees in Seals Grove, 54 right now in Williamsport, as well as State College up in the Wyoming Valley area from Nanticoke through Wilkesbury, Kingston, and Lehman. Temperatures holding in the upper 40s and 50s. Not too bad out there. A few clouds here and there, but precipitation free across the Northeast. And like I said, we're going to continue to stay dry going into tomorrow. As we roll this in motion, some clouds around. Other than that, a mix of clouds and sunshine. Next chance of seeing any precipitation won't get here until we start going into our Thursday. That's the next chance of seeing some showers across our area. And then after that, it's going to pave the way for a lot more chillier conditions in time for this weekend and as we start going into next week. But enjoy this while it lasts because it is nice out there. Uh, tomorrow, even a, like I said, a good chance of it being a couple of degrees warmer than what we've actually seen today. And then here comes some more rain heading in our direction before the ending part of this week. And then as we go into the weekend, another shot of some very cold air heading back into our area. So what can we expect over the next couple of days? It is looking very nice for tomorrow. 55, 53 going into Wednesday, and then some showers around as we go into our Thursday. And then once that happens, it brings in some much cooler air once again for Friday and this upcoming weekend. And indications are at this point by early next week, 
we may not be getting out of the 30s. Uh, for daytime high temperatures, but tell you what, it definitely felt good today. It, this is all relative because it felt nice today compared to what we saw on Sunday because it was just brisk, it was windy, it was cold, we had snow flurries. It was bitter. It was just, yeah, it was definitely nasty. I but saw if we some took, flurries. Yeah, there were some out there, but if we took this weather and we put it in summer, we would say it's just downright cold. Right, right. All well, I also it saw is. them in, uh, on Friday, some flurries Friday night. Yeah. And then a quick change to rain. But, yeah. hey, it's not supposed to rain tomorrow. No. So there's no excuse for you not to go out and vote, so make sure you exercise your right. And, of course, 8 o'clock tomorrow night, live here on WYLA.